As we wrap up our daily Bible reading, one thought I'd like to share with you is just considering what Paul teaches us here in Romans chapter chapters 4 and 5. As Paul spoke about the faith of Abraham and uh, the promise God had made to him uh, and uh, the, the kind of faith that he had in Romans chapter 4, uh, he said in verse 19, without becoming weak in faith, he contemplated his own body, talking about Abraham. Uh, God had told him that he would have a, an heir. Uh, and yet Abraham and Sarah, they were really old and it would take a number of years before uh, they would have their son Isaac. He said, without becoming weak in faith, he contemplated his own body, now as good as dead, since he was about a hundred years old, and the deadness of Sarah's womb. Yet, with respect to the promise of God, he did not waver in unbelief, but grew strong in faith, giving glory to God. Abraham trusted in God. He certainly was not a perfect man, but he certainly had great faith in God. And being fully assured that what God had promised he was, also, he was able also to perform. Therefore, it was also credited to him as righteousness. Now, not for his sake only was it written that it was credited to him, but for our sake also. The story of Abraham is for us as well, to whom it will be credited as those who believe in him, who raised Jesus our Lord from the dead. For he was delivered over because of our transgressions, and was raised because of our justification. We certainly have to believe that Jesus is Lord, that he was risen from the grave, and understand what he has done for us. Paul, as he wrote to these Christians here who certainly believed in Christ and had obeyed the gospel, he would say in verse chapter 5 and verse 1, Therefore, having been justified by faith, we have peace with God through our Lord Jesus Christ. You know, so many people today are looking for peace and making sure that we understand the kind of peace that we all need to have, and that is peace with God. Paul will remind us in Romans chapter, Romans chapter 5 that, um, that while we were still ungodly in verse 6, that Christ died for us. And in verse 10, he said, while we were enemies, Christ, he died for us. And when you start to think about how Paul describes who we used to be, um, we were ungodly, uh, we were sinners in verse number 8, and we were enemies of God in verse number 10. But through Christ, now we have been reconciled to our Father in heaven. Through Christ, we've been justified by his blood. Through Christ, we are, we are saved from the wrath of God through him. We now have this peace. We now have this, this fellowship with the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. And so peace, and true peace, and truly understanding what it means to have peace, and peace with our Father in heaven, uh, begins with us first submitting to Jesus Christ and obeying the gospel of Jesus Christ. It is the power of God unto salvation to all who believe, to the Jew first, and also to the Greek. I hope this helps. I hope you're encouraged as you are reading from Romans chapters 4 and 5. Take care and God bless. Thank you for taking the time to watch this video. Subscribe to our YouTube channel and follow us on Facebook for more content like this.